Do you recognize this symbol? It stands for Near Field Communication, or NFC. Odds are, you're carrying an NFC-enabled device right now. A lot of people are surprised when they look through their wallets. Um, they actually do have contactless cards. Using short-range radio communication, NFC is what makes Google Wallet work, along with a growing number of other mobile payment apps and contactless cards. NFC, or contactless payments, are expected to top $110 billion worldwide by 2017, according to Juniper Research. But with more people using NFC, come new questions about security. Intrepidus Group Chief of Staff Corey Benninger made headlines in 2012 when he used an NFC-enabled phone to reset transit cards and get free rides. If NFC is that easy to hack, why would you trust it with your card information? Benninger says NFC payment systems are built with layers of protection and showed us why stealing account information during a transaction isn't so simple. So let's say I had something like this little device on here, which allows us to actually capture the wireless transactions that's going on between the phone and the payment terminal, so sort of like a skimmer. Uh, if I had that set up here to actually capture this information, I could grab that same data that you see going across. However, I wouldn't be able to actually replay that because once this card data is used once, it's no longer good. With NFC payments, the CVV, or card verification value, changes every time you use it. Information security expert and consultant William Murray says it's much safer than our current system. Your phone will essentially sign that transaction. That's, that signature is unique to the amount, to the merchant, and to your phone. It can only be produced one time. Plus, all NFC devices include a secure element. Intrepid senior consultant Max Sobel. You could call the secure element the primary security layer. It's what holds all your credentials. It's what the banks talk to. Um, and then you have layers built on top of that. Phones and apps have to be turned on and unlocked in order to exchange information. A protection that cards don't have, which could leave them vulnerable. We did write software so that somebody just with their mobile phone, if you're on the subway, get close enough to somebody. Normal range for NFC cards is about four centimeters. Um, so if you got fairly close with your phone, you could tap and, and read somebody's card. But Murray, who carries all of his cards on a big key ring, says we're risking more by continuing to use our current magnetic stripe credit cards. Anything we do is better than mag stripe and pin. <laughs> mag stripe and pin is killing us. And, and if we can live with that, we can live with what little tiny residual risk there is and all the rest of these things. He advises the best protection is to keep a close eye on your accounts. Dana Kochnauer for CreditCards.com.